Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to use TLSS for AI upscaler in conjunction with FSR frame generation in Elden Ring Night Train. I'll be testing the game on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. This game does not support TLSS nor does it support any version of frame generation. I'll be using Hotas Free Temporal Super Sampling Mod version 0.8.1 to inject TLSS upscaler support into the game. I covered the first build of this mod that added support for DLAA only but now with the latest version the mod supports DLSS subscaler as well DLSS subscaler support allows us to use OptiScaler FSR frame generation in this game I have already tested it works very nicely this guide will work on any PC that has an RTX GPU Hootai's mod also adds support for FSR upscaler I'll cover that on my ROG ally in another video now it is possible that Hootai himself may add FSR frame generation support to their mod but for the time being you can use OptiScaler mod for enabling FSR frame generation. Download Hootai's mod for free from their Patreon page. This version 0.8.1. Click on the dot .7z link here. In order to use this mod you need to disable the game's easy anti-cheat implementation. This means you cannot play the game with other players online. Need to play it in solo mode. We'll be using a few more mods from Hotai for disabling post-processing effects like vignette and chromatic abrasion. It's very important to disable vignette otherwise you'll observe some graphical artifacts around the edges of the display. Both of the mods are free and can be downloaded from Hotai's Patreon page. I'll give the links in the description of the video. This is the remove vignette mod. Just download all of the files under the attachment section. Here Hootai has provided instructions on how to disable easy anti-cheat. Just need to use this launch argument. Add it to the game via Steam. Need to paste steam underscore app id.txt file in the games directory right next to the game's main exe file. We'll be injecting remove vignette mod into the game via mod loader. Download all of the files here. Next mod remove chromatic aberration. Again it's available on Hootai's Patreon page for free. I'll give its link in the description. Just scroll down until you find the attachment section. From here, download remove chromatic abrasion mod. Don't need to download the mod loader again. Same thing for steam underscore app id .txt file. Moving on to OptiScaler mod. I'll be using a specific build of it for Elden Ring Night Train. This is the build. Version 0.7.7 preview 13 20250711 available on OptiScaler's Discord page. I'll give the Google Drive link to it in the description of the video. Please make sure you're not using an older version of OptiScaler mod with this game. Just need to set the render preset to K in order to activate the transformer model of TLSS4. I'll be verifying TLSS upscaler's details using TLSS debug overlay. We'll show you how to activate this overlay. Just copy the registry code provided by Emos. Create a new text file anyway on your PC. Name it anything you want. I'll just name it as overlay. Change its extension from .txt to .reg. Hit enter. Yes. Select the file. Right click. Open with notepad. Paste the lines here. Click on file. Click on save. Close and run this registry file. This will enable the DLSS debug overlay. If you want to disable it, just replace the number 4 here with 0 like this. Click on file, click on save, close and run this registry file. I'll revert the change as I want to enable the DLSS debug overlay. Select the file, right click open. Click on yes, ok, that's it. These are all of the files that I just downloaded. First I'll show you how to disable the game's easy anti-cheat implementation. Just copy this .txt file, steam underscore app id. We need to paste it in the games install directory. Select the game in your steam library, right click, manage, click on browse local files, open game folder, paste the txt file here, right next to the game's main exe file. Now we need to add a launch argument to the game. Just go to Hootai's remove vignette mod patreon page. From here copy this line of text, launch argument. Select the game in your steam library. Click on the settings cog here, click on properties, click on general, under launch options, add this line of text. I'll provide it in the description of the video. You can copy it from there and paste it here. Before installing, remove chromatic abrasion and remove vignette mods. I'll install the mod loader. Open its archive file. Copy the two files present inside this archive file. 
need to paste them in the games install directory open it open the game folder paste the two files here now i'll install the mod for removing vignette effect open its archive file copy this mods folder need to paste it in the games install directory open the game folder paste it right here quickly install the mod for removing chromatic aberration open its archive file copy the mods folder open the games install directory open game folder paste the folder here you can check the files inside this mods folder dll files corresponding to the mods that we have just installed are present inside this mods folder now i'll be installing hoda's temporal super sampling mod open its archive file nrss copy all of the files and folders present inside this archive file open the games install directory open game folder paste everything here just change the name of txgi.tll file to d3d12.tll i'll be using dxgi file name for optiscaler mod that's why i'm changing the name of hootas mod now i'll install optiscaler open the mods archive file copy the highlighted files three of them need to paste them in the games install directory open game folder paste them right here change the name of optiscaler.tll file to dxgi.tll open optiscaler.ini file set tx12 upscaler to tlss and set fg type to optfg click on file click on save close the mod comes with an older version of tlss for upscaler version 310.2.1 i'll manually update it to the latest version 310.3.0 you can download it from TechPowerOS website. Click on download here. Click on any of these servers. Download will start. And just open DLSS Upscaler's archive file. Copy this TLL file nvngx underscore DLSS. Show you where to paste it. Open the games install directory. Open game folder. Open NRSS folder. Open bin folder. Replace the older version of TLSS Upscaler with the latest version. That's it. Now it's not a mandatory requirement to enable hardware accelerated GPU shuttling setting for using OptiScale FSR frame generation but if your PC has an RTX GPU it's recommended to enable this setting. Right click anywhere on the desktop then click on display settings. Click on graphics. Click on advanced graphics settings. From here enable hardware accelerated GPU shuttling setting. If your monitor supports variable refresh rate enable the setting as well. Now I'll enable vSync from NVIDIA control panel. Click on Manage 3D Settings. Click on Program Settings. From this drop-down bar, select Elden Ring Night Train. Scroll down to the end. Enable VSync from here. My monitor is G-Sync compatible. I'll enable the corresponding settings for it. Click on Setup G-Sync here. Enable the following settings. Enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible. Enable for full screen mode. And enable settings for the selected display model. I'll also enable G-Sync compatible indicator. This step is optional. Click on Display here. Check this setting. G-Sync compatible indicator. We are ready to run the game. Make sure no third party overlay like Afterburner or RTSS is running in the background. It may affect the functioning of OptiScaler mod. I will be using NVIDIA's performance overlay to show you the performance metrics. Launch the game. You can see Huta's overlay at the top of the display. Open Huta's mod menu by pressing the end keyboard key. There it is. From this top turn bar, select the upscaler NVIDIA DLSS. This mod even supports ASDR. You need to set the display mode to borderless in order to use ASDR. Monitor should support ASDR as well. DLSS, just set it to anything other than DLA. For using OptiScale FSR frame generation, I am using DLSS Ultra Quality Preset. Render Preset, Default. For activating the Transformer model of DLSS 4, we need to select K. Default should select K automatically. Check this setting as well. Offset screen edges. Close the mod menu by pressing the end keyboard key. Here yeah, you'll see this error at startup. Connection error occurred. Game will run in offline mode. This is exactly what we wanted. Game versions. Latest. In game settings, do not set the screen mode to full screen. Otherwise, the game's FPS will get capped at 60. Even after enabling FSR frame generation, 
you will observe very high latency set the screen mode to windowed games fps is capped at 60 after enabling fsr frame generation we should be getting close to 120 fps resolution full hd my setting auto attack setting of advanced setting from here you need to make sure that anti-aliasing quality is set to high I have disabled post processing effects like depth of field and motion blur the rest of the settings set to maximum you need to set the animation quality to high for using Huta as mod we are in there's a character about to land your FPS is capped at 60 GPU load close to 80 percent we have enough GPU headroom. Check out the DLSS debug overlay in the bottom left corner. Render preset used this K version of the upscaler 310.3.0. PS resolution 1474 by 830 pixels upscale to full HD resolution. DLSS auto exposure setting is on. This setting helps in reducing ghosting around the objects in the environment. Also fixes the texture shimmering effect produced by shiny objects. Engage in combat. So FPS stays locked at 60. Now I will enable OptiScaler as a frame generation. Open OptiScaler menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. Check the setting FG active. Don't enable FG hardfix setting, it's not required. Check the setting FG alloy saying, Oh my god, sky attacked me from behind. Almost died there. Almost. Staggered. Here you can see FPS increased to around 120. Can observe the added amount of smoothness. This thing is still alive. Not anymore. The undead. Hitting the GPU bottleneck now. Very good results produced by office skill FSR frame generation. You can see the game's interface is not flickering. Only the DLSS debug overlay is flickering as expected. It's not part of the game's interface. After verifying the upscaler's details, just disable it. Level up. Uta's mod disables the in-game sharpening when we use DLSS. Makes the image quality look a bit soft even when using DLSS upscaler's ultra quality preset, especially the grass. No slider is provided for increasing the sharpness, so I'll use OptiScaler mod. Just check the override setting under sharpness section. Move the slider to the right. I'll just set it to 0 0.700. Click on save INI. Resume the game. Check out the image quality now. Yeah, it's looking much sharper. All thanks to OptiScaler mod. The grass blades. I'll quickly disable the sharpness override off resume the game from the same spot yeah, image quality is looking a bit soft now especially the grass blades big drop in terms of image quality so it's highly recommended to use OptiScaler mods override sharpness setting value set to 0 0.700 completely up to you you can increase the value further or even decrease it okay i'll also show you FSR frame generation debug view. Let's verify that FSR frame generation is working properly. Check this setting FG debug view. No hard elements are visible in the bottom middle image. Games interface won't flicker after enabling FSR frame generation. The color palette is exactly the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images. FSR smoothing effect should work properly. Displays are working properly for all of the images. This occlusion mask, motion vectors, depth resources. Click on save INI. So very good results produced by Huta's mod and OptiScaler. Just make sure not to use DLA. Otherwise OptiScaler FSR frame generation won't work. Before ending the video, I'll quickly show you how to disable the DLSS debug overlay. Open overlay.reg file that we created earlier using notepad just need to edit it replace the number 4 here with 0 click on file click on save close run this registry file click on yes okay that's it for the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day